is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 4. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. First up for you, a new at 4, a murder-suicide rocks a quiet town. We're following the latest from a tragic scene in Bethel where two people are dead after a shooting on Reservoir Street. And this is news we first brought you on Eyewitness News at noon. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane has been in Bethel all day. He is now joining us live from the police department with the very latest there. Matt. Well, Aaron and Mark, just an awful situation. Bethel's acting first selectman says this is a small community, so the news is hitting everyone hard. This is what we know so far. According to the Bethel Police Department, uh, officers were dispatched to Reservoir Street shortly before midnight last night for a report of a disturbance and a noise complaint. The caller saying they could hear yelling coming from the area. But once officers got there, that's when they located a man and a woman inside the home. They tell us both were suffering from gunshot wounds. While officers began providing medical Laid. We're told the woman died from the scene from her injuries. The man was taken to Danbury Hospital where he was pronounced dead as well. So far, police have not released the identities of the two people involved. Throughout the morning, we could see police removing evidence from the home, even using a metal detector to search for more evidence across the street. And while police stress there is no threat to the public, the acting first selectman tells us for the community, well, they will be there for this family. I got the call in the middle of the night last night from the police chief that there was this tragedy happening in town. Uh, we're a small community, you know, we don't really expect things like this to happen in our town. We're a small community and we pull together and we help one another. Uh, the, the friends and relatives of the family, I'm sure, will have an outreach from the community. Now, Bethel police describe this as an active situation, an active investigation. That more information as detectives gather more details. We're live with the mobile newsroom in Bethel. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.